Welcome back to the channel. Nice to have you guys. And today I will show you a small install script I have written to basically just make it easier for you to install or to copy the, my config files. So as you can see in my repo, um, this is my name dot files and you will find all my config files and uh, below you can see you have a small install guide from Arch Linux itself and the various uh, system related configurations like Pacman packages, creating a user and stuff like that. Now what I've added as you can see over here the config files you can now install using my installer I have written in bash so I will show you now step by step how to do that and yeah basically the first thing is as you can see my downloads folder is empty nope I have to delete that as you can see I have an empty downloads folder and now you can grab this command And what this does is it's just git cloning uh, my dot files into your downloads folder and then cd-ing into this folder. Like that. As you can see, if I run pwd, we are exactly in this folder. And over here, you can see you just have basically all the config files, the same ones. And you have here the install script. You also have the readme. So as you can see, you can here really follow step by step if you want to. And let's see. So um, you can then basically just run the script using install.sh command over here and press enter and as you can see you go directly into the installer now this is the program I have written and I have uh, just uh, to make sure that you will understand this installer will uh, delete all your config files so everything will be gone and that's this folder over here you have here your configs, which basically uh, defines how your system looks and works. And this installer will delete everything in this directory. All right. Now, of course, now my system already has the Everforest theme. So what I will do is I will just delete all the config files. And as you can see, this is my config folder. I will delete everything. Like that. And if I now reboot i3, as you can see, most of the stuff is already gone. Now, of course, some of the stuff uh, you will first see when you reboot the system. Um, but my config file is empty. As you can see, there is no config file. Okay. As you can see, the transparency is gone. And you have the standard i3 status line over here. All right, now I will uninstall some more stuff because as you can see, I've uninstalled that. I will remove the status HRC. Let's see. 
And as you can see, even now, if I if I open terminal, URXVT is starting up. Now this is the basic terminal from I3. But, um, I'll use PT. Like that. So this is basically now your system without any config files. And yeah. As you can see, everything is working. Now um I think I've uninstalled everything. No, we still have the new win stuff in there, so I go to local share and vim and I will just remove the whole site folder like that and as you can see we have a bare bones new vim so I've now uninstalled everything packer this ZSH auto suggestions syntax highlighting ranger def icon so everything is gone and we are left without any configuration files. All right, now I won't uh, restart the system because uh, I'm now recording and it will break my OBS. Um, because as you saw, my config files are gone. So um, I won't restart, but you get the idea, right? Um, you just don't have You just don't have a real configuration anymore. Right. Like that. Okay. Now, as you can remember, we were in the downloads folder. And we have here the dot files. As you can see and then all you have really to do is just install .sh and again it will open this uh, script and then you can do you want to proceed yes and it will install everything you will need for this config file and as you can see, installation succeeded, exiting. So let's quit out of here. And I will just restart the i3. And as you can see, everything has been installed. All the, uh, all the colors and the uh, error forest theme from my repository has been installed successfully and you have your key bindings you can see you can do that now of course the transparency seems to be a bit broken you just have to restart the system to make that work it's not a big deal uh, I won't restart because as I've said I'm recording but everything else as you can see has been installed and when we go into the config you can see all this script really did was just uh, moving all the necessary files and directories from the downloads folder to this folder and then in the downloads folder it deletes itself so all the installation files will get deleted and you will, ha will have everything in here including the xdg uh, uh, user directories um, the config. As you can see, these are the XTG user directories and they have been recreated. I've put that in the script. And 
Yeah, we saw now that Vim isn't installed yet, so you just can uh, enter Vim, press enter, and then you can run Packer install. We'll install all the packages. Then when you enter again, as you can see, you have to run this command. COQ devs. As you can see, tree sitter is downloading and installing the parsers. Now, COQ will install the dependencies for its program. As you can see. Usually this is a lot faster, but I guess because I'm recording, it's a little bit slower. You can exit like that. You have a working new Vim uh, editor over here. Let's see. Okay. Team. Now, for the guys who didn't watch my install video, make sure after you have run this script that you go inside uh, your config folder and i3 and you will have keyboard settings and just that you will um, that you will just uh, change this because I have Swiss German layout that you will change to your layout which uh, fits your uh, computer keyboard that's uh, important and of course the wallpaper that uh, you provide here a path to a picture that you want to take as your wallpaper everything else I guess will stay the same and yeah, that's basically it. You will find it in my repo. And this was my uh, script that you can run with install sh. And I hope it will work. Of course, I'm always happy for uh, contributions and uh, if there are any bugs in the program because I'm not really a shell expert in this case uh, just uh, inform me about it I will be happy to fix everything and yeah I hope it will be working for you guys and see you in the next video bye